to see them in in older patterns like that. That's really cool. Yeah, it just sort of suits them <coughs> as well. That sort of layered look has been yeah, sort of suits yeah. them. Plays up on that that sort of. Your real Ventress fourth back in the chat to say that's what I need. It's a beautiful figure. I love the motion in it. Yeah, it's really nice. That was sculpted by Neil. Oh. Neil Patrick, who is uh, sorry, Neil Roberts, who yeah, this is one of his first models he did for us, I think. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. Fair play. Really, really good pair. I'm seeing a few of the Horus Heresy releases where you've seen Praetors and Leviathan Dreadnoughts. People have probably been expecting. Well, These Dreadnoughts being mm -hmm. very much this sort of, you know, ride free, the wind in the hair, all yeah, that yeah. sort of thing. And really, they absolutely do. And the reason the White Scars use Dreadnoughts is because they're incredibly disciplined, incredibly dutiful. And they would never presume to put their own personal dislike of being interred within the sarcophagus of a dreadnought above their duty to the Emperor. Mm. So the White Scars absolutely definitely use dreadnoughts. Great. Which is <coughs> why, in some ways, we chose to do a character Leviathan before al almost any other mm -hmm. legion. Okay. Just yeah. to really re you know, reinforce that idea that yes, White Scars definitely use, use dreadnoughts. Cool. about dreadnought drop pods is that they carry dreadnoughts. <laughs> That's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's, it's kind of in the title, isn't it? It is. Yeah. In particular, Leviathan dreadnoughts. Mm -hmm. If you put your Leviathan dreadnought in there, you'll have no friends, but great fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think Raph is going to try to cross the streams and get a White Scars Leviathan dreadnought. Uh, At least next the, close to it. Yeah, just put it next yeah. to it. Yeah. That's for the best. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So you That'll be heresy. <laughs> Who needs friends when you have dreadnoughts of certain Especially exactly. Leviathan dreadnoughts. Exactly, in Leviathan dreadnoughts in drop pods. Yeah. Hey, Rauderon. Chapter Master of the uh, Blood Angels Legion. Again, a, a character I think we showed this at uh, the weekend or a little yeah, while yeah. back. I, can't, I think it was a painted yeah. version. But yeah, lovely model. Yes! Real, genuine thing. character in that one. Yeah. Just having them cutting up the demons yeah. in the Sigmas Prime? Yeah, exactly. It's very much set on the, uh, the Sigmas Prime. Mm -hmm. and you, you can tell very much from the arm there that that's uh, definitely a, very, a demonic arm that he's yes. been chopping up, yes. which, which keys into the whole Grimstorm Demons theme that we have, have going in the mm. uh, Malevolence Kingly book. It's an awesome model, says Uriel Ventress mm. Fourth, fresh off the love for the Horus Heresy. Well, coming for Uriel Ventress, that's a high place indeed. <laughs> And there had been uh, people observing round Rohan shields for playing around with converting. Yeah, Rohan yeah, shield. so you could use it for conversions as mm -hmm. well. It is an optional shield. Um, and the mounted model actually comes with a base topper too. That is really nice, isn't so it? So it's just a neat way to slot the horse model into the base. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, really happy with this model. Even you, Dobby. Yeah. So there you are. This is actually his first, his first miniature that he sculpted <laughs> physically, which is stunning as yep. well. Uh, he sculpted a couple of different arms and heads on it. So when we put the Minotaur out, we, we chose our favourite head and our favourite arms, which were the, the standard ones, which were the ones that we released a little while ago. But we always thought we'd eventually release the, this head and these arms mm -hmm. as well. So now we are. So Maybe. he's going to be a, a model that we only sell at events and at Warhammer World. He's, okay. he's going to be an exclusive for, yep. for, those, for those places. Um, I, uh, yeah, but he will always be available for you know, he's a permanent range item. It's just that if, if ever, you know, the Forge World, you know, the, the guys are coming to your your your, your, your gaming mm. um, event that's near you, then that should be with him as well. Game wise, he's a standard Minotaur, but because he's got claws, he could represent a Minotaur. Which means that every weapon that is in their house weapon list, which is to be found in the game for the Underhive bot, uh, book, is is available in one form or another, or even, even in plastic form, I think. You can see a couple of the, the weapons here. We've got these little sights on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Little sights. Little sights. Massive, yeah. massive, yeah. massive yeah. sights. <laughs> Spotlight. <Massive sites. laughs> so yeah, they, they, those are little upgrades that you can use as, as the various different types of, of gun sights and, the, and um, projectors that you can get. We very much modelled those on, on first generation um, sort of night sights that, that you used to get on, you know, in the 1960s and 70s. Yeah. So they look like <coughs> big, chunky bits yeah, of Cold yeah. War technology. That was the idea of it. We saw Hendy Badger in the chat had asked, are there going to be Galak upgrades?
great at Warning Fest this weekend. Yeah. There you go. There, yeah. you go. there you go. There you go. There you go. Whoa. There's the heads. We, we're just showing renders because they're easy to show yeah. on a picture like these. But there, there's loads of different ones there. There's a, there's a couple of the female heads in there. Um, Delac are, are, are sort of deliberately sort of androgynous, but they've got mm -hmm. sort of a steer towards male or female. And there's a couple of them in there as well. The hooded heads thing, thing is, a, is a new look that we're deciding to go for. Yeah. It seems to suit them. It makes them look even more sort of creepy. As I say, they creep around in darkness and jump out and stab you and things. I like the hoods, observes burnt pies. Indeed. That's a good example. It is. I've been waiting for this guy for my Cordor game. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he it's is glorious. Really cool. He's sculpted by Tom Hughes. Yeah. Uh, one of those on the team. Um, he worked on the other Cordor, didn't he? he did. Yeah, Tom he is the guy who actually Cordor, he right? made the, yeah, the, the, yeah. the Cordor themselves. <coughs> yeah, that's right. So, yeah, you can see he's um, he's got all of the sort of symbols of House Cordor only dialed up to 11, really. That's the idea. But all the candles, all the all the relics, yep. you know, all the noose around the net like the other guys have. And he's got that big headsman's axe. Yeah. Which is the, They're uh, separate arms, heads, backpacks, so you can sort of stick that to one of your old little nice. tools if you yeah, wish. Yeah. Those backpacks will definitely make an appearance on some other models. That takes me back to my youth, the Necromunda and the yeah. various bounty hunter models had yeah. lots of cool bits of gear yeah. that would find themselves in various 40k conversions. Yeah, very much Those so. are some sweet minis, says Isenda. I can concur with this. She's even got um, a, a rat on the back yeah. of her belt there, which, <laughs> which is a lunch. Just a, a snack. Eat on your feet. It died naturally, <coughs> which is meant for it. Bless Alex for making stuff kit bashable, says Ola. Well, Alex, Alex is a very, very keen hobbyist mm. and converts lots of stuff himself. Um, and so he's got a particular eye for that, for making models yeah. that people can, can use as sources and other bits as well. So. so here's a squat. Here's the second squat that we've done. Uh, he was sculpted by Alex, and because he's a essentially a support um, member, he's sort of loading or fixing the gun there. He's got like a little spanner in one hand, and he's, in the, he's carrying the gun broken in the, in the other mm. arm, as if he's, he's, he's fixing the weapon itself. He's not in a sort of fighting pose. Mm. That weapon, you can actually assemble it so it's not broken, so it's just a, a, normal, a normal gun, which is cool as well. That's nice. Um, he, his backstory is that he is an ex Hearthguard. Mm -hmm. who fell out with, with his brother Hearthguard from his, his stronghold and um, got into a, like a sort of uh, like a life debt essentially and ended up or, or a life feud if you like ended up having to leave um, his, his stronghold and go wandering in the galaxy ended up on Necromunda and went down into the underhives where he found that his services as a sort of the plastic armature but then you've got the resin components that go on top of it and dress it essentially as a, as a mechanic invariant. Uh, we've done a good three or four mechanic invariants of our knights before. We've got um, Serastus and Christorus variants. Yep. We imagine that rather than being piloted by a scion, as, as a standard <coughs> knight would be, this is probably piloted by a flaming czar. It's, it, it's, nice. it's very mechanical in, in its outlook. It's got all the sort yeah. of secret tech, all the, all, the, all the arcane toys, all the stuff that mechanicals like to keep for themselves. There's not really any value to putting meat inside that thing, is there? There's only going to increase the risk. Yeah, why would you have arms and legs <laughs> and things? Yeah, really. Badly broken toy asks, are they new shoulder pads? Uh, I think the shoulder pads are new as well, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Certainly the top carapace, the shin pads, the weapons, I think the shoulder, the shoulder pads are, are fresh as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Garrow 30k says, that's beautiful. I'll take three of In the jar. Right in the jar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Very reliable. Yeah. It's quite a high bar for joining the mechanic. <laughs> you have to commit to it. Really commit to it. Excellent. Then. And then Hoffman and Maxim Zana too. So are they being sold as complete kits? Is it the plastic armature and the the resin and plastic bits will come together? Yeah. Cool. 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 He coming. Yeah, so you can see the, the similarity in the stylings there to the armor yeah. Mechanicum Armages yep. there. So it's got all that sort of crenellated Mechanicum panelling on the top of it. And it's got this, those two massive conversion beams, which are <laughs> only the Mechanicum would have such things. It would be crazy <coughs> not to have those. 
J Bowley 621 just said, are those massive sea beam cannons? That's exactly what they yep. are. I mean, you yes, like they are. I don't like hearing it. Turn you into light. Interesting. There might be one, more than one brain in a jar fighting. <laughs> a series of linked brains in jars. Yeah. Sweet Omnissiah. Yeah. yeah. That appears to be the right sort of uh, response. And Durham Red has just subscribed Durham to Twitch Prime. Durham Red. Keith Robertson, his own self. Lovely to have you on board. <laughs>